In the following video, you can see how a combined measurement is carried out with the Custo Guard halter and the Custo Screen 310 from CustoMed. First, prepare the patient for the measurement. Make sure the patient's chest is free of hair and other debris. Then connect the Custo Guard halter to the Custo diagnostic software. You can see how this works in the user video Custo Guard Halter or Halter ECG. Specify the desired settings such as the type of lead. Make sure that you continue the process as a combined measurement. The Start Now option is available under Recorder Start. As soon as you start the Halter ECG recording, you can enter the patient's data or import it from your EPR system. In addition, a patient diary is printed and the software automatically switches to Ambulatory Blood Pressure Monitoring ABPM. First of all, make sure that the infrared interface Custocom IR is connected to the PC via USB. Then switch on the screen 310 and start it with the patient that has already been pre-selected. If the screen 310 has been successfully started, the screen for monitoring the Halter ECG will open. Next, attach the selected lead to the guard halter and protect it with the Custo Clean Hygiene Bag. In this video, you can see the application with Custo Wing. Now, place the Custo Guard halter on the patient and check the ECG quality. As soon as the guard halter is placed on the patient, you can focus on the Custo Screen 310. Put this in a Custo Clean Hygiene Bag for the long-term measurement. Then select a suitable blood pressure cuff. To do this, measure the patient's upper arm circumference. Cuffs are available in the sizes small, standard, X-large and XX-large. Before you put the cuff on the patient, you can optionally use a screen protect. Place the blood pressure cuff on the left upper arm, two to three centimeters above the crook of the arm. The marking must be on the brachial artery and the cuff must be neither too tight nor too loose. Place the cuff tube from the left over the right shoulder down to the hip Connect the tube to the Custo screen and fix the measuring device by using the Custo Clean Hygiene Bag. Then carry out a test measurement. It is important that the patient remain still. If the measurement is incorrect, improve the fit of the cuff and the tube and check the connection to the device. If the test measurement is successful, the recorder will be ready for recording and will automatically start the long-term measurement. You can now explain the patient diary to the patient. For later evaluation, it is important that the diary entries are made correctly. Also instruct the patient not to bend the tube. For the next 24 to 72 hours, the patient goes about his or her everyday life and documents relevant events in the diary. As soon as the blood pressure measurement begins, the patient should remain still to avoid a faulty measurement. This means that during the measurement, the patient should not talk, not move, let the arm hang loosely and not tense the muscles. Abnormalities that the patient would like to communicate to the doctor can be marked by tapping the guard halter once. Back in the doctor's office, collect the diary and remove the blood pressure and ECG devices from the patient. 
download the data from the devices via base and infrared interface. Under Options, you can switch from Holter ECG to Ambulatory Blood Pressure Monitoring. As soon as the patient has left the doctor's office, clean the devices with a disinfectant wipe.